The UK's fastest and most powerful supercomputer goes live in Bristol. Now, Britain's most com powerful computer was switched on today in Bristol as part of a £1 billion government pledge to increase the UK's computing capacity by 2030. The proposals include building supercomputers in Scotland and Wales. Here's Faisal Islam. Inside what is now Britain's fastest supercomputer and great hope for economic revolution. So this is Isambard AI. Yes. So this is one of the most powerful supercomputers in the world. It's in Bristol and is named after that local hero of a previous industrial revolution, Brunel. And Isambard AI has just been switched on by the government who funded it, promising never before possible opportunities for British science and business, according to the company whose famous AI chips power it. It's a fantastic day for the UK. This system will be able to help scientists develop new ways of working through drug discovery, thinking about how to transform different industries. These are like the gold dust of the AI revolution. NVIDIA Grasshopper 200 chip basically being rationed by what is now the world's biggest company worth $4 trillion. And this Isambard computer has 5,300 of these chips here in Bristol, giving the UK for the first time the horsepower to, for example, train a chatbot like ChatGPT natively in the UK. It is this sort of compute power that will transform society and the economy, and that change is now happening much more rapidly than expected. A few miles away at the South Mead Hospital, an example of how this could transform medicine. AI is already automating large tracts of radiology, spotting cancers here. And now the robot microsurgery is learning from hours of recorded real surgery before the robots themselves take over eventually. I'm sure they will replace future generations of people doing my job. I don't think it will be any day soon. I think we can count it in several years, but I would be very surprised if AI-generated surgery was not routine practice within five years. Wow, this decade? This decade. Just manipulated a bit. The government is going all in on AI opportunities, but recognises rising concerns about jobs. I can reassure people that this government will not leave anyone or any community behind when this next wave of industrial change happens. And it has already started. We are in the foothills. I am not going to underestimate or downplay the significance of what is about to happen to our country. So the future is here now. More of these supercomputers and AI growth zones are planned across the country, but there's some need to calm jobs fears too. Faisal Islam, BBC News in Bristol.